What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've been watching my stuff, as you can see, I did get a haircut. Um, but thank you for joining my channel. Please hit that subscribe button and that notification if you like what you see. Leave a thumbs up on any of my videos. Again, I make short films for anyone who's just new to the channel. Please check out my short films. See the growth that I've been doing over the many years that I've started, you know, been creating short films, writing them, and creating them. And any of the movies that I've been that I've seen recently, I've been making movie spoiler reviews. So if you've seen them, please watch it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I do appreciate that. And yeah, as you see in the title, this movie that I will be talking about is Carter on Netflix. And to be honest, I really enjoyed it. I give it two thumbs up, but it was a little weird for me because I guess when I was watching it, I was a little tired and I kind of stopped at one point and continued. So I'll try to get through, you know, remember what it was that I was, what it was about. I didn't read up on it just to like refresh my memory. But basically this guy, he, um, it starts off a group of people in a bus and they have these devices and they seem like they're on a particular mission and I thought they were going to be the main focus but it turns out they were trying to get this guy who didn't remember anything when he woke up and then he hears something in his ear that only he can hear it's talking to him it's like an implanted thing in his ear that someone's trying to like tell him where to go so in the midst of trying to figure out what's happening he don't remember who he is he's fighting and the action scenes are crazy over the top and you know it's just basically throughout the course of the film he's learning what's going on and who he is and what his uh, role is within everything that's happening. So basically there's a virus going on within Korea and it just makes people aggressive. They become bald and they're just very aggressive. Not zombie-like, but aggressive. And now the part where I'm confused, I don't know where it started in Korea or if it's all over the world, but I know something's going on where I believe there's a one doctor has the ability to cure this, this virus and then he needs his daughter because she's, I guess, the answer to the cure. But I guess the military or so from one of the Koreas, I'm facing the North or so, they're trying to capture her for themselves. I don't know. It's I'm, I'm a little wonky in that. I would just say look it up, Wikipedia, IMDb. You can kind of get the idea for yourself. But what I did want to talk about was that the action scenes and the, the camera work was amazing. I thought it was... So it was something I've never seen. I really liked how they got into like the scenes and the actions and the people and how they just did it. I don't know, it had to be some drone work and all this other type of work with the camera because I've never seen it before. But I will say there was some parts where it was just too shaky for me and it's like, I wish it wasn't as shaky, but it was really unique for me. I thought it was really good, really cool. And I love the cast. I've never seen any of them. They're all, you know, pretty short sure foreign for the most part. And I believe the it's probably not in English. Like they don't, th I don't think they speak English. I believe the there are uh, voiceovers, dubs, with because you know there is like I guess most cases on Netflix there are subtitles with the actual talking, but it's in English. But I feel like there's some voiceovers, some dubs there. So, but I would recommend it. Definitely a lot of action. You know, the guy doesn't remember a thing, but he knows. He eventually finds out that. He has a wife and daughter, and his daughter has the virus, and he has to, she wants to try to save her. And, you know, he helps, with his, his, he helps his wife who meets him because she was working for the military, I believe, North Korea military. And she gets betrayed by her boss or the general, whoever you wanna, whatever you want to call him. And it's just, you know, just trying to get the daughter and escape from, you know, being killed by these people. So eventually he finds out that he himself had allowed himself to lose his memory because I guess he was supposed to infiltrate for South Korea to go into North Korea and then something happened but it's it's you gotta watch it it's a little confusing I apologize for that little this little messy of a review but what I really did want to talk about was the camera work like the camera work is amazing again a little shaky at times but I would like to see that more in films because the way it was done the way it was shot even scenes where you know it's green screen and it's you know you can tell it's fake, but at the same time, it doesn't look bad. Like, it was really good. Like, there's a helicopter scene where he's just jumping in. He's doing all these crazy things that only someone on, you know, in movies can survive and achieve without failing much. Um, hey, who knows? Maybe somebody in real life can be able to achieve these things. But I really enjoyed it. I, my friend Perry, he put me on to it because I was, you know, they know I do movie reviews and I've been seeing a lot of Netflix films, which I normally don't, but I've just been doing it lately. And. 
he put me onto that, and I actually enjoyed it. You know, I did stop at one part of the movie to continue the next day, so that's why I kind of like lost myself, and I just didn't give myself a refresher. But I would just say check out Carter. I think if you like action, if you like <clears throat> a lot of craziness that happens within action films and just the story that somebody lost their memory and they're you know trying to figure out what's going on, they, they're listening to somebody with an earpiece only until they're able to get that out. And I guess it was his wife at the time. I guess it was his wife that was kind of speaking to him in his ear because I know at one point he doesn't have that anymore. There's no talking um, but and then there's a detonator in his mouth in the beginning that they implanted and he's able to get it out and they didn't know who it was the people that got it out and it blew up on their hand but I will say there actually there was uh, I forget his name the actor he played Luke Cage on the Netflix's um, Luke Cage he was actually in it that's the only person that I remember that was in it so it had to have been in English I feel like some cases it was may have, it just looked dubbed in some cases some actors but I would say, I, I mean, I recommend it. Check it out, Carter. If you like something different, it is unique. I will say that. And the way it ends, if you haven't seen it, again, this is a spoiler review. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought about it. If you like the story. But the way it ends is that they're on the train, I believe, going back to South Korea. And the train tracks explodes. And it ends like that. So it's like, well, I'm guessing they're all going to die after all that had happened. Him, his wife, his daughter, and whatnot. So... But yeah, I just wanted to come in here and say check out Carter because to me it was different. It was something I haven't seen. Um, it starts off like how was going on, like the confusing, and then you kind of get the idea as it progresses. But as you can see, I kind of don't remember much about other than about it other than you know the character lost his memory. He eventually gets it back by meeting his wife, and he's doing all these crazy things, trying to like help these people that he doesn't really want to but he's forced to and then he realizes he has to get his daughter because he gets his memory back and whatnot so but there's this virus going around and it's you just check it out i mean i recommend it it's, i feel like it's different and it's unique and i just i want to see more of that camera work I, I i just you gotta you gotta watch it for yourself like the camera work is really awesome really crazy and yeah i just wanted to come here and say that a little small review whatever i remembered and whatnot but check out carter on netflix i recommend it i give it two thumbs up um, just for its uniqueness and I say we should get more films like that you know so check it out if you haven't seen it and you're here here you know you like spoilers like me I like to spoil myself but uh, thank you so much for joining me check out my other movie reviews I will be having a She-Hulk review eventually as it all you know once it's done I will discuss it a little bit but thank you so much um, yeah until next time later